I'm Jumbo. Bonnie Safiwe. Can somebody shout hallelujah? hallelujah? All right. Wave your hand to the Lord. Here is the book. How many do not have a copy yet? How many do not have a copy of this book yet? All right. You can see the people at the exits as you're anytime during the night or on the way out. And uh, you can get it. You need to see what Archbishop wrote in here. <laughs> Someone pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Rasha tekesa hai shikaya. Vanzele shato koseta hito. I have some very specific instructions from the Lord. How many are happy about that? And uh, no, you don't need to clap. Just lift your hands and just begin to let the Holy Spirit touch you. Very specific instructions. Such excellence in the house. I love it. Thank you for that. I'm sure I won't get through everything I want to say, but I'm going to try. So much, so much, so much, so much. Lift your hands right now just for a minute. This sweet anointing is flowing. Oh, there it is already. It's like fire. It's like fire in the house of God. This is the house of God. This is the altar of God. This is a very special place. There's no place like this. And you're in the right place tonight, everybody. Let the Lord touch you right now. It's all right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Rashkota. Farandelesan. Derekeshe. The Lord spoke to me. And he said to me, son, tonight I'm giving you an assignment to talk to the body of Christ, to the individual person of powerful things I'm saying to them to break their life through, to begin to raise them up. And I said, well, what about the nation? He said, you need to do that in another session. There'll be one for the nation, but tonight, the Lord has instructed me very amazingly to speak to the individual. Every individual person, lift your hand to God right now. You're going to get some things that are going to help you to break through. God is very concerned about our lives. And if we don't succeed and we don't prosper, the big picture that God has can't happen. God wants to anoint individuals. He wants to empower individuals. He wants to teach his sons and daughters how to succeed, how to prosper, how to break through, how to get things going in their life, how to cause things to come from what you hear and have in your mind to having it in your hand. The manifestation is important. And when the church gets blessed, intangible manifestation I mean really so powerfully so tangibly there's nothing you won't be able to do to chase the devil straight out of the nation straight out of your house uh, straight out of your head straight out of your life straight out of your family he won't have a place to stand because you're walking in too much power so yes, we can speak to the society. And yes, you know, this voice that speaks to you now have, has become famous for that in the world. But tonight, the Lord says, I'm empowering the individual. Are you ready to be empowered? Each point is, is breathed by the, the breath of Jehovah himself. Each point I'm going to share with you, and I know I won't finish it all. In fact, I'll just get started. Lift your hands.
It's time for you to be raised up. It's time for you to prosper. It's time for you to arise and shine. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Marante shalasa to sheke. Fisabarante de sondolo shaha. Wow. Woo! <laughs> something's happening. I said something's happening. Let it happen. Receive the touch of the Holy Ghost right now. Wow. Father, into, the, into your hands we commend the people. We put the people in your hands. As you can empower them, touch them with your fire any way you like. Tonight, I think everybody's excited. You might, you might want to stand up. You might want to sit down. You can take your seats. It'll help me move into this a little bit quicker. How many were touched by God in the Fresh Oil Conference? Ha <laughs> ha, wasn't that awesome? And in that, the Lord had me deliver about 12 prophecies, and I'm continuing, I'm continuing, and this one's for the individual. Number one, are you ready? Are you ready to take some notes? Are you ready to take some notes? Say yes. Number one is you need to have faith for increase. You need to build your faith. And I thank God for the, for the angel of this house, the archbishop, who I think is what is the one of the greatest, if not the on the earth. Uh, can you lift your hands? Can we give the Lord a hand of praise for our Archbishop? What a phenomenal, wonderful man of God. I, I celebrate him. I love him so much. And I know he loves me, and I'm grateful. <laughs> faith for increase. you got to build your faith that your life is going to change for the better. Number two, mindset upgrades. You need to upgrade your mindset to believe for bigger things. A king is supposed to live in a palace. Hello. A queen is supposed to live in a palace. Not some junky place. Lift your hand and say, Lord, I, I repent for living so poorly. Lift your hand. Come on. Let's have a repentance time. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. When you get that strong about it in your mindset, you'll repent. Look around and say, well, how can I live like this? Number three, you need to have a severe belief and revelation and understanding that God wants you to be very prosperous and successful. The Lord gave me these. These are prophecies. Can you receive them? Are you receiving Number four, the ideas God gives you, you need to get strategies to put them into motion and literally industrialize them. Make them like an industry coming out of your life. Somebody say amen. And you need to take action on them. Faith without works is? Faith without action is? Useless. It's not enough. I mean, it's not useless totally, but it's not enough. Number five, God said he will give you the best help once you decide that you absolutely must have it. How many are tired from being, how many are tired of being tired? How many are tired of being where you've been? Lift your hands to the Lord and tell him, Lord, I, it has to change. Enough is enough. This has to stop. Can I tell you, until you get angry about something, you can't change it. Anger can be good when you push it toward uh, uh, <laughs> erroneous living or devils. <laughs> Great people surrounding you, number six. And working with you is an amazing gift from God. A man has to dream, a man has to think, a man has to, uh, 
you know, begin to procreate things but in his thinking, and then things will begin to happen. How many know first in the mind, then in the hand? First in the heart, then it, beca- it comes out, and you begin to uh, manifest things. Next point, you create by your words. A man can create things by his words. Words walk, words move. The word of God is what created the the universe. The word of God is what created everything. And if God made us in his own image, then how much more should we also have the ability to create things? Lift your hands and say, Lord, I'm a creator like you. you. You don't know that yet. Lift your hands. I'm helping you. I got to pull you over here. I got to pull you over into this high realm. Say, Lord, I'm a creator like you. The offspring of the creator is a? Oh, yes. So much, yeah. Pray in the Holy Ghost with me. Ecclesiastes 8.4 says, Where the word of a king is, there is power. And I prophesy to you that everything little is changing into something bigger. God says, I don't want you to be small. Small things are for children. Big things are for adults. How many are growing up? And you're realizing what you're seeing is not enough yet. It's not big enough yet. You need to come up to a higher plane, a higher place. But you can't tolerate the things that are wrong. Death in life is in the power of the tongue. You get what you declare either way. So you got to watch your words. Put your hand on your mouth right now and say, Lord, please. Put a watch over my lips that I never speak anything negative. Even when you see something negative, don't say it. Don't say it. Speak in faith. The Lord says, I'm developing my people's faith to believe me for the biggest and the greatest things. And if you want to walk in fortune and blessing and breakthrough, you got to fight for it. The Lord says also, walk away next. Walk away from everything that's limited you. Change your environment. It's up to you. The Lord spoke to me and said, my son, I want you to tell my people and I, this, and I've done this all around the world. On all six continents of the world, my feet have stood, speaking to literally millions of people around the planet Earth. And the Lord said, Tell my people your environment will either pollute you or promote you depending on what it is. When you discern something is not good enough yet, you have to change it. You have to move away from it. And the Lord says, break everything that's limited you. Get away from everything that's limited you. Limited your faith. Limited your experience. Limited your life in any way. Lift your hands and shout yes. Limitations are being broken. In the book of Romans chapter 4, the Bible says, Abraham believed God. And you know what happened after that? How does an obscure man named Abram become Abraham, the friend of God, who's the father of nations? How does it happen? There was a process, but he applied himself. And if he didn't, it wouldn't have happened. How did Elijah call fire down from heaven? He decided to go for it. By faith, Abraham sojourned in the land and began to get the things that he was to get. In Genesis 12, 1, the Bible says, Abraham, Abram, 
was just hearing God and began to walk. And then by the next chapter, verse 2, Genesis 13, 2, the Bible says he was very rich. What happened in between the one point and the next point? He walked. When God spoke, he began to walk that day. Someone says, Abraham is just something else. No, you can be like Abraham. You can be like David. Can you say amen? You can be like Elijah. You can be like Elisha, the servant. You can be that. Do you think God just made one man called Abraham and he doesn't want to do it in this generation? Who does he have in our generation? Not enough people. Lift your hands. I prophesy there will be millions of disciples made around the world. And there will be thousands upon thousands, countless people that will begin to become true power carriers, glory carriers. People that just, just can't be stopped. They can't be stopped. They're so powerful. They scare everything and everyone. People don't understand what they're going to do next. They're unpredictable. They're so full of life and power. How many of those people that we have in our generation? Lift your hand and say, I'm going to become one. Now, the next thing, you have to break the limitations of the environment that's around you. Whatever's causing you to be stuck, you need to get out of it. Too many people have things in their mind. You might know the word. You might know the Bible. But in your circumstances, your situations, you're stuck. I prophesy you're coming unstuck tonight. We're going to pray the whole night. How many are ready for it? And not just pray, just pray, 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 have church, have an experience, but pray and speak things out that are going to create things. Prophetic prayer is declaring. And God said in Amos 3, 7, surely I'll do nothing except I first reveal my secret to my servant, the prophet. And they'll roar like a lion and everyone will fear. And then people will echo the prophecy. Let me tell you what prophecy is. Prophecy... A simple definition, are you ready for this? Is God thinking out loud? <sighs> Communicating what's on his mind. The Holy Spirit is a speaking spirit. He speaks all the time. Are we hearing what he's saying? And then when God speaks, it has power to create new things. So you need to prophesy. You need to declare. <laughs> Another thing the Lord said to me is I'm healing people. Lift your hands. Is healing, healing miracles going to happen here tonight? I just declare whatever it is that's made you ill and unwell. The fire of God is coming to burn it up and burn it out of you. You got to get rid of whatever's holding you back and work on removing yourself from every environment that's wrong. Get it away from you and you get away from it. Did you hear that? Now, the Lord spoke to me another, another thing that was very powerful. He said, my son, tell my people this. If you want to get ahead in life, you want to move forward, you got to do three things. Are you ready? You got to, number one, bury your past. Number two, you got to clean up your present. And number three, you need to launch into your future. You have to launch. When the Lord says that, I said, that sounds good, but what's the launch? What's the launching place? He says, your gifts and your talents. Stand on the platform of those that begin to leap and fly. Lift your hands. Too few people have identified themselves. Next point, identity in Christ as a king. You ladies as a queen, as royalty. Do royal people act unorganized? No, they can't. So why are we doing that? Everything you see that's untoward that you don't like, prophesy to it. I'm giving you an assignment from tonight. Prophesy to it, speak to it and say, Dissolve from my life. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I'm going somewhere and I have to get there very quickly. And I'm not waiting for you. I'm not waiting. How many know time waits for no one? How many know God doesn't even always like waiting for people? 
We say we're waiting on him, but he's waiting on us. And if he were to say something to you, he would tell you, hurry up. Hurry up. How do you say that? Harakisha? Is that right? Twende? And you tell the devil, Tokahapa? Kwendohuko. Which one? Get out of my way. Shaitani, you're defeated. You're a fool. You're a liar. You're a thief. You're, you're, you cause limitation and oppression, but it's unnecessary. And it's written in the Bible. One of the prophets wrote, he said, people would say, is this the one that deceived the nations? Look at him. This pitiful little thing. Can I tell you the devil's not over your head? He's not on your back. He's not in your, in your way. He has only one place to be, and that's under your feet. Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus put him there 2,000 years ago, and the, and the game has never changed. But people think, ah, oh, these principalities and powers and generational curses and this and that and that and this. You know, the Bible says, I think it's Numbers 23, 23, somewhere like that. It says, that, uh, where, wherever it is, there's no enchantment that can stand against Jacob. No witchcraft. Nothing can stand against you. And when they try to come one way, they flee seven ways. Come on, say amen. You have power over every power of the enemy. You're the destroyer of the works of the destroyer. We tread on serpents and scorpions, and we have total authority over all the power of the enemy. Luke 10, 19. And nothing shall by any means hurt me. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Lift your hands. Father says to my chosen sons and daughters, I'm relieving you from stress. I'm clearing your mind. Uh, I'm clearing your schedule. I, let me do it. I'm clearing it. Some people are going to go on a fast. You're going to begin to fast and pray. And take some time and get alone with God and listen to his voice and begin to walk on the journey that he really has for you. You can't be a copier in a cultural way of other people and let them hinder you. you got to walk your own road. The most powerful people that ever lived on earth, including the ones in our generation, are very unique people. They're not like everybody else. Can I tell you, your power and significance is not in your similarity to another, but in your difference from another. Your uniqueness is what makes you great. Do I look like anybody else? Do I talk like anybody else? Well, I, 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 that's a compliment. God, if I had to preach like everybody else, I'd be like, hey, what happened to me? Was I just listening to them or was I listening to God? Lift your hand, say, Lord, touch me with my, with my, the grace, yeah, my grace, my grace, that's right, the grace that he, that he has for you to make you very unique and never be afraid to stand out, never be afraid to be unlike everybody else. Karandera tokosa. I feel another session. The Lord spoke to me a few things, but I'm not at liberty to share about the nation. How many would be excited to hear in another time? I'm just about to run out of a few moments here. Lift your hands. We've got to speak some things over the nation. One thing I'll say, if I could say it in code language, or I have to say it what? One thing I will say is that all this mass uh, thing that's going on will stop. Did you hear what I said? I prophesy. It's going to get shut down. It's a very temporary thing. It's not going to continue. Lift your hands and say hallelujah. When the post-election violence was going on, in January 2008, I was here in Kenya, and the Lord had me stand on a platform at 7 o'clock on a Sunday night. I think it was January 13th. The 6th of January was so bad we couldn't have a Sunday meeting. And the Lord had me declare that mass action will become mass nothing this week. Can you imagine I said that? And by Thursday it was over. 
and people were being killed and dying everywhere, it stopped because God had a prophet to speak. Hosea 12, 13, by a prophet, they were led out of captivity. And by a prophet, they were preserved and blessed. Ezra 6, 14 says they prospered and built through the prophesying of the prophet. Second Chronicles 20, 20 said, believe as prophets and you shall prosper. Hello. To hear the voice of God in the day of Ezra, Ezra 7, 10, the scripture says, that there was no teaching priest in that day. The word of the Lord was rare in their day, but Ezra showed up. Ezra the prophet, Ezra the teacher. Lift your hands. Thank God for the vessels he has in our generation. So much is about to happen in the economy. Let me tell you a prophecy that's already being fulfilled. I'm seeing it this week. The Wazungus have come back. They're everywhere. The tourism is opening up again. Are you hearing God's servant? The tourism is opening everywhere. And they're going to be coming more and more. Lift your hands. E economic breakthroughs, my God, my God, my God, are coming in individual lives, but also in the nation and in the economy. We're going to begin to see what God's about to do and say. One scripture I wanted to get to really quickly is Joshua 14. I don't want to preach this for myself because I love it. Caleb, how many know the story of Caleb. Hey, Caleb inherited the land, Hebron, because he had faith. Because he had a different spirit. Him and Joshua. And God began to say, I'm going to give this to you because you're believing me for it. And when he was a young man, he was, he was walking in some things. But when he said, he stood when he said, when I was 85 years old, I stand here and I have the strength of a 40-year-old man. Let me prophesy. Let me tell you, we're, we're canceling this aging thing, the aging process. Lift your hands. Some people are you're too young. You don't even understand. But once you've once you been around a few moons and years, you understand. Lift your hands. Let me pray right now. Strength, the spirit of might. The Lord spoke to me. The spirit of might and power. Isaiah 11:2. 2, the spirit of might. Uh, Revelation 5:12. it's called strength. We'll be preaching and teaching and traveling and prophesying and carrying the miraculous fire of God in our 80s to 90 if the Lord tarries with strength and no sickness. Uh, no sickness could be in our physical body. Lift your hands. I'm driving it out right now by the Holy Ghost. Uh, if you're sick anywhere, you're oppressed anywhere, be free and be delivered right now in Jesus' name. Thank you for the two people over there. Can we, can, can, you, can you? It's okay. You have, you have permission. Come on, give the Lord a praise right now, somebody. The Holy Ghost is driving it out. Whatever creative miracle you need is going to happen. If you need new eyes, new kidneys, new organs, new bones, new muscles, new nerves, it doesn't matter. Let the Lord touch you and in your mind. Your mind is going to be very clear. To see what God is saying and begin to take action and move uh, into the purpose and destiny that he has. And we'll never be weak. We'll never be lacking. I have testimonies. I won't tell now. I'll tell in the next round. But God is really blessing me. Uh, even this week, I can't tell you. you I don't want to scare anybody. How many know there's dimensions of blessing you can walk in that if you told everybody, they would get nervous or very jealous? So I don't want to stir that in you. But the Lord is manifesting some things. I don't know if you remember in the stadium, Kasarani, on New Year's Eve, the Lord had me call the year, this year, the year of manifestation. Does anybody remember? And this is the time, let me tell you right now, from this month for the rest of the year is going to be the best year, the best few months you've ever had in your entire life, I prophesy. And manifestations of miracles, manifestations of blessings, manifestations of miracles. I like the acronym, M-O-M, -M, like mom. God says, am I not like your, your parent who loves you? I want to give you the flow of the miraculous and manifestations of blessings. 
I prophesy over every business and even businesses to be born. The Lord says, get the name from the Spirit of God. Go register it. Do your articles in incorporation. Build it. Start to build the thing. Industrialize the ideas you have. The Lord used that word. Make it an industry. And God says, I'm going to take your uniqueness and make it palatable in the marketplace. And I'm going to cause people to love you. I'm going to cause people to want to do business with you. I'm going to cause people to want to bless you. And next point, the Lord said, favor, my favor, my favor, my favor. My favor is flowing like fire. I'm going to begin to cause. I have one minute. The, the Lord's going to begin to cause an outpouring of favor upon people. Lift your hands right now. Let the fire touch you. From tomorrow, today, we're crossing over today at midnight. From today, I prophesy. You're going to begin to see manifestations of favor like you've never seen before because the Lord himself is standing on this platform and prophesying it to you. Somebody, somebody give the Lord a praise right now. Ah, people are coming to sow seed. Come on, let's go, let's go, let it go. Get a seed into this atmosphere, into this anointing. Favor, favor, things you can't do for yourself. God's going to begin to cause to happen. One day of God's favor is greater than a thousand days of your labor. You have to stop trying to do things yourself. Yeah, Lord, I see it. I see a parade of vehicles coming. How many need a car? How many need a car, a better car, a vehicle, transportation? You're going to begin to walk into this thing, and you're going to begin to see the manifestation. And God's going to have you to have your own ride, your own vehicle. Come on, lift your hands and pray and declare, I'm going to have it. I see people moving house. I see people being upgraded with furnitures and beautiful decorations and things like that. It's according to your mindset. First, God's going to work in your mind. And then you're going to begin to see the manifestations. The Lord is telling me something here. He said, mention this again. There's so many things that will feed your soul and put you into motion in this book. Make sure you get a copy. I never do that. I never do that. I never do. Promote. I never. But I, the Lord said do it. So they're available. Thank you, Lord. Father, bless every person that's sowing tonight. She's blessed. She's blessed. The Lord says it's a day of a new beginning. A new beginning for you. A new beginning for you. A new beginning for you. Everybody stand on your feet just now for a second. Lift your hands up high to the Lord as I drop this mic in about 30 seconds. I love you so much. I love God's people. I want to see you raised up. And the things I'm speaking to you, catch them in the spirit and say, now I've had, okay, yeah. The Lord says you have to tell him and you have to speak it out. Say this with me right now. Lord, I've had enough of things the way they've been. I have had enough. Enough is enough. It ends at this altar tonight. And I'm crossing over into the next season. I'm crossing over into a new day. I'm crossing over into a new, higher life. Everything that I've dreamed will manifest for me now. I prophesy in this year, the rest of this year, you're going to see the greatest days of favor you've ever seen in your life. And God's going to begin to show the manifestations. He's going to cause people to help you. He's going to cause people to honor you as you show honor to the servant of God. As you show honor to the Holy Ghost. Uh, we need to honor God, his word, his spirit, his servant, and his anointing. Those five things. When you're doing that, God will begin to honor you back. And God says, get ready. You're going to begin to see the greatest days you've ever known in your entire life. 
I'm Thomas Manton the fourth. I love you. I love you, and I'll see you again next time. Can you blow me a kiss now? Come on, give me one. Oh, I feel the love. I feel the love. Come on, clap your hands and give Jesus a praise. Let's give Jesus one. Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley, Ferris of 10,000, Bright and Morning Star, Amen, Faithful and True, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, Mighty God, Alpha and Omega, Faithful and True, Bishop and Overseer of our souls, Bread of Life, Great Shepherd, we love you, Lord Jesus! Love you all. Let's give the Lord another praise. Dear brethren, in Psalms 119, 105, the Bible says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Truly, God has sent prophet Dr. Thomas Manton IV to proclaim and declare his word of abundance and prosperity prophetically unto the nations. Thus, brothers and sisters in Christ, I urge you, just as the Bible says in Matthew 10, 41, whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet reward. Let us welcome and embrace the prophet of God by supporting his ministry. You can sow a seed, you can send your love offering, you can support or partner in the ministry program using the details displayed on your screen. For when the prophet of God decrees a blessing upon you, indeed, you shall be blessed.